Hello everyone and welcome back to Exiled Miscellaneous Projects. I have a new project today. Well actually, I guess I should say it's an old project that I'm going to finally finish. It is a Tesla a uh, miniature Tesla coil uh, music projector. I believe I can't remember the exact name, but you put music through it and it sparks and creates little noises. I started the project years ago and then just never finished it. it seems to be a theme. Uh, as you can see, it's mostly put together. All of this was completely bare when I first got it. No soldering joints, no pieces on the board, all individual components. Th Unfortunately, over time, things, uh, pressure, time, me mishandling it, uh, put pressure on the different pieces, and I need to resolder everything. They're all loose, the joints are bad. So I'm going to pull out one of my soldering kits and redo a few of those connections. First thing I'm going to do is something that I'm sure you've seen in other videos of this sort. I'm going to add some flex to all the various little connection points. I'm using an old flex container uh, instead of a syringe. So I'm going to speed the video up here while I solder the connections. I'm using a handheld portable battery operated soldering, soldering gun and I have to actually increase the power halfway through. You'll notice here that the light is green on it. It goes red when I have to increase it. It was not doing a very good job on some of these because the soldering, uh, the yeah, see it just went red. burning off all the flux right now that I put on there before redoing all the connections I'll actually resolder a few of these as well just adding extra solder to make sure that they hold up properly and then that's the LED I decided to add it in just to get it over with right then And obviously I had a hard time with it. I should have pulled out um, something to hold it in place properly while I was doing this. And then I was just making sure everything was in good condition before I moved on to the next thing. As you can see, uh, all, everything is soldered. It looks fairly decent. Unfortunately, it's all gunked up from the flux, so now I have to clean it. I'm going to pull out some 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I can't say that properly, sorry. I'm using a uh, cotton swab here, a Q-tip, and it gets caught on some of the protrusions, so I actually have to redo it with a toothbrush making sure everything is nice and clean and as you can see working to just get off the remaining flux work out some of the gunk on it you can really see how much is on there right there you can also see some of the uh, cotton that got stuck to it from the q-tip as well did not choose my cleaning instrument wisely on this one As you can see, it's now clean. I sp sped it up again. I'm just going to be screwing on these little support pegs real quick. Have my little electric screwdriver. Love that thing. Fairly recent purchase. Use it every chance I get as a result. These are just little risers that will keep it up off the ground while I'm using it. As you can see, I've gotten the coil secured. I'm just putting on, just soldering the uh, wire for the coil, as well as the wraparound wire. It took me a moment to realize it, but I had the soldering gun on low again. You can kind of see where it's showing green, which is why this took so long. I did bump it up to high, as you can see right there where it's red. 
then yeah, it took me a moment to figure out how to wrap it. <laughs> the instructions were not very clear. Then it just took me forever to get it through the hole properly so I could solder it. There we go for the first time, kind of going out of view. Kept going in and then slipping out again, which was half the problem for me. Once I finally got it in, I made sure I soldered it real quick. Made sure it was on high so I didn't lose it. And here is the completed Tesla coil music maker machine. Still cannot remember the name. I'll have it in the title of the video. This is what it looks like. I actually could not get it working mainly because I did not have a power supply for it. It didn't come with one. So I don't even know if it actually works, if it sounds cool, if uh, anything. I am looking for other projects, so leave a comment if you have any ideas or send me a message to let me know. But thank you for watching, and I'll come up with another video soon. Thanks again.